Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start a ferrite device called gyrator. There are generally three types of ferrite devices available. Gyrator, isolator, circulator. These three are ferrite devices where ferrite magnetic material has been in, used inside the waveguide to rotate the electric field. Okay, now I will explain the operation of uh, all these three one by one. In this video, I will explain about the gyrator. So, what do you mean by gyrator and what it will do? What is the working principle of this gyrator? We will see. So, gyrator is nothing but it is defined as a two port device that has a relative difference in phase shift of 180 degrees. Suppose, if you are taking a wave or electric field that is transmitting from port 1 to port 2, this is the waveguide and this is the first port and this is second port. When wave travels in the forward direction, it experiences 180 degrees phase shift. The same wave if travels in the reverse direction, it experiences 0 degrees phase shift. So, a gyrator is defined as a gyrator is defined as a two port device that has a relative phase difference of 180 degrees where from port 1 to port 2 transmission as compared as compared with the phase shift for transmission from port 2 to port 1. Okay, that means when the signal is traveling from port 1 to port 2, it will be having a phase shift of 180 degrees, but whereas when it is traveling in the reverse direction, that is from port 2 to port 1, there is no phase shift, 0 degrees phase shift. So, a gyrator may be defined by employing so, a gyrator may be de <coughs> defined <coughs> sorry by employing the non-reciprocal property of Faraday rotation. So it is also defined as the non-reciprocal property of the Faraday rotation, non-reciprocal property. That means in one direction it is giving a phase shift, in another direction there is no phase shift. Okay, so I will explain with respect to the diagram how the phase shift is going to be occurred in the transmission from port 1 to port 2 and no transmission from port 2 to port 1. See here, we can simply say the gyrator representation like this. Okay, we can represent a gyrator waveguide like this. So, port 1 port 2 it is simply a two port device and provides pi radians or 180 degrees phase shift when signal is going from 1 to 2 port and signal is going from first port to second port see 
okay and similarly when signal is going in the backward direction there is no phase shift that is not mentioned here if you want to mention that also you can mention like this zero degrees okay now coming to this waveguide of this gyrator how actually the waveguide looks like waveguide is this is the first port waveguide is having two ports it because it is a two port device so this is the first port and this is second port okay and it is having a ferrite rod that is placed here after the twist okay a twist is also there to provide a 90 degrees phase shift in the clockwise direction okay see here this ferrite rod will make one uh, another 90 degrees phase shift so that totally it gives 180 degrees phase shift in the forward direction okay remember the ferrite material will give a phase shift of 90 degrees in clockwise 90 degrees in clockwise direction okay whenever the electric field touches automatically the clockwise rotation will be there in that electric field and it will be having a 90 degrees phase shift now let us see what happens when the signal is traveling from first port to second port and how it experiences 180 degrees phase shift from port 1 to port 2 okay that is the first case we are here that is the first case in forward direction we are taking from port 1 to port 2 okay so the input signal i am applying see always we are uh, one more thing here always we need to study the operation of any type of ferrite device with respect to the help of <coughs> electric field component that means either in the upward direction or in the downward direction we cannot explain the operation of any type of a waveguide with the help of magnetic field component because magnetic field component it does not have any uh, upward or downward direction it is having only the loops with the help with the with respect to loop we cannot explain these type of operations like uh, in the uh, 90 degrees angle or 180 degrees angle that is not possible with respect to the magnetic field so definitely we should go for the electric field then we can up easily uh, show what is the angle what is the phase difference between the input and output ports <coughs> so that's why we have taken the electric field component which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation so here that may be either in the upward direction or in the downward direction here i have taken upward direction for example this is the upward direction input electric field okay so now when this upward direction goes and slowly touch, enters into this twist see the direction of the twist direction of the twist is backward are in the forward direction in the front direction it is in the backward direction so it has a phase shift it has a phase shift of 90 degrees that means the twist will give a orientation of 90 degrees phase shift the twist itself provides a 90 degrees phase shift in this electric field because the wave slowly turns because of the twist so that's why a 90 degrees phase shift is because of the twist 90 degrees phase shift because of the twist see the electric field lines after crossing through the twist what happens it will be having a 90 degrees phase shift the orientation from here to here is 90 degrees that is due to twist okay now the same signal going and touches this ferrite material ferrite magnetic rod okay now this ferrite magnetic rod is having a ferrite to faraday's property what is that whenever it touches this electric field that will be having a one eight uh, sorry 90 degrees of phase shift in the clockwise rotation already 90 degrees phase shift occurred in this again one more 90 degrees so because of this ferrite rod because of this ferrite rod this oriented at 90 degrees angle again goes to one more 90 degrees so that from here to here what is the total angle totally it is 180 degrees so this is the 180 degrees now the signal is completely in the downward direction after crossing through this ferrite it will be in the downward direction so that downward direction signal going and coming out so this is the way when the signal is going from first port to second port how the signals is going to change its orientation in the upward to downward direction nothing but 180 degrees phase shift occurred in the forward direction coming to the backward direction 
same apply the same signal whatever you have obtained at the port 2 obtain the same signal which is in the downward direction see give here see this is the input signal which is 0 degrees phase shift from our terminology because let us see what is the phase shift occurred with this type of signal if an input is applied at the port 2. Now when this signal first where it will touch it touches this what is this ferrite magnetic rod. So ferrite magnetic rod in the reverse direction what happens it gives 90 degrees phase shift in the anti-clockwise direction in the anti-clockwise direction as it is going in the reverse direction it gives anti-clockwise 90 degrees so that's why this orientation will be in this direction in the horizontal line okay this orientation is due to the ferrite magnetic material which it gives a orientation of 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction now that 90 degrees signal again goes through this twist what about the twist twist always turns the signal into the same direction okay that means it uh, turns the signal uh, in the clockwise direction that to 90 degrees so the same signal again going to the original position 90 degrees clockwise here 90 degrees anti-clockwise here 90 degrees clockwise so both will be in the same directions so the input and output will be in the same direction see okay so if we compare the input signal and output signal both were having same orientation and there is no phase difference between the input and output signal in the backward direction but whereas in the forward direction from first port to second port there is a phase difference of 180 degrees but whereas in the reverse direction there is no phase difference this is actually the operation on working principle inside the gyrator okay in the next video i will explain the scattering matrix properties of this gyrator thank you